Justice for Joyce, family of indigenous woman who died in Quebec hospital announces lawsuit. Walk a mile in those shoes. Dying in pain while being mocked by multiple nurses, is a nightmare I think we all have when we pass through hospital doors. We all deserve dignity. The fact that she is leaving seven kids to grow up without their mom, makes it tragic. Hi, I work in a nursing home, in Ontario, Canada. Good on them for suing. I see firsthand how far complaints about problem staff go, even when I am reporting directly to the Ministry of Health, they tell me to talk to my union or management. Hello, we have been doing that for years, it doesn't work. Something is seriously wrong with our world where the corrupt continually prevail. I'm a US registered nurse. I believe I speak for the vast majority of nurses when I say fucking fantastic. In medicine, there's no thing goes line with nurses. We may try to make up for others' mistakes, and try to low-key help each other out with making big scenes out of things, but if you demonstrate that you're a threat to our patients, fuck you. Bad nurses damage our reputation and make our job harder. It damages the trust that, frankly, we must have from our patients to do what we do. Because often we're already running overworked and understaffed, so if we can't achieve the flow and rapport that is facilitated by having a professional reputation for competence, compassion, and trust, our jobs and outcomes are impacted on a scale of magnitude. You can have your personal bullshit, so long as you can put it on a shelf and give your patient everything you can to help them while they're vulnerable to you, you can still be a good nurse. I've known nurses who recognized they were racist, they also recognized that it was toxic learning, and they took personal steps to make sure they were not projecting their bullshit on their patients. They were better nurses because they learned to overcome their shit because it required them to be mindful of their prejudices and thus their actions and choices. If you can't do that, then burn your license and stay the fuck out of my discipline. Edit, were we're not. That poor woman. Criminal charges for those nurses. They didn't check her medical alert bracelet were too busy abusing her. Send them to jail. My heart breaks for her family. Losing a loved one is hard enough. What they have had to endure on top of that is dreadful. What was said in the video. So shameful. Regardless of their own personal biases medical professionals need to be able to set those aside and offer the best care possible. I'm glad this was recorded so the people in this particular incident can be punished but I imagine there are many more we never hear about. This woman's story is heartbreaking. I really hope her family receives justice. I hope they also pursue pressing charges against those nurses. They need to personally pay for what they did. Nothing they do or say can ever fix or reverse what they did, or the grief they caused, but they deserve to pay for it in some way. I saw the video, it's disgusting. Those nurses ought to be ashamed. I had no idea there was so much racism and antagonism towards indigenous people in Canada. If you google abuse of Canadian indigenous people it's a horrific report of civil rights abuse. How does Canada maintain its image as one of the most friendly and polite countries? As a nurse and a Canadian I am shocked and truly sad and angry for the patient and her family. I hope they get the maximum payout and that hospital gets the fucking book thrown at them. This is not an isolated occurrence and this is the time to make a strong example so that other hospitals start taking racialized negligence seriously. Canada has a huge problem with racism and indigenous women get the worst of it. Rip Joyce. I hope her family gets some justice for her death. Shocking to see this level of hate and racism. As a proud Canadian and Quebecer myself, we cannot deny that this is a byproduct of the genocide against First Nations and Aboriginals in Canada which continued until 1996. That's only 24 years ago. See the Canadian residential school system. HTTPS colon slash slash en. M. Wikipedia. Org slash wiki slash Canadian underscore Indian underscore residential underscore school underscore system. Our Canadian government has left the First Nations communities across Canada in shambles, and has left lingering systemic racist sentiment towards those that have been oppressed and abused in the past. Good I hope they sue their asses off and get those sick pieces of shit fired. Her husband can't be angry, but I sure can.
I hope there's a little bit of justice for this. My wife gave birth to our son early 2017 at the Glen McGill University Hospital. We are expats from Vancouver, moved to Montreal in 2014. The delivering doctor, in conversation, found this out, and started saying some really racist comments about Chinese people. Here's some quotes, you're from Vancouver? Why don't you speak Chinese, and they are coming across Canada, they spread like cancer. The nurse could see I was getting visibly upset, some of my best friends are of Asian backgrounds. The doctor left the room, and the nurse said to me, he's a really good doctor. I calmed down because my wife was in labor, and that's what was important. He was a good doctor, it was a tough night and another doctor could have just wrote my wife off to C-section. But the racist doctor worked hard for hours so my wife could deliver naturally. This guy was older too, probably early 60s. So, I'm thankful to him as a good doctor, he's a real piece of shit though. This is truly despicable behavior towards a patient, and negligent medical care causing her death. These individuals should be criminally prosecuted. Makes me ashamed to be Canadian today. What I'm about to say is from my experience 20 years ago, but it looks like it still holds true, I volunteered at a youth camp where the Joliet Hospital was the closest. Whenever we went to the ER, it was never a good experience. We often would try to get the kid, if safely and comfortably possible, to the children's in Montreal, a one. Five hour drive that's how bad that ER was back then. At least this is getting the attention and outrage it deserves. I'm an indigenous person in Canada, and sometimes it feels like we're a forgotten minority. My heart hurts for this woman and her family. This is such a heartbreaking situation. How heartless could these people be to behave like this while having a job caring for other people? There's no way this was a one-off moment for these women. As a U. S. R. N. I say, good for them. They should sue the shit out of them and the hospital that hired them. How dare they work in a field that is based on science and compassion, and treat a human being like that? Strip their license, ban them from all healthcare work. As someone from Quebec, I am absolutely ashamed of what happened. What was she in the hospital for, a real diagnosis, not stomach pains? What killed her? I'm not saying this isn't super fucked. I want those nurses and staff to suffer. But the article does a great on of not mentioning either, unless I missed it. What was she admitted for and what caused her death the article says nothing. Good. They deserve every ounce of justice for what happened to Joyce. It continues to surprise me how, when anything bad happens in Quebec so many people jump to the conclusion that Quebec as a whole is innately evil. Often the same people who would abhor stereotypes. Yet another disgusting example of how racism is far from dead in Canada. These nurses need to face legal reprimands for this, not just losing their jobs. We Canadians still have a long way to go. What the F sharp at percent is wrong with everyone these days? Firstly, I'd like to point out that I am also Native American and I'm not trying to give the wrong idea but can someone explain to me what is racist about this? Did I miss something in the transcript? It seems to me that they were just shitty people and pumped her full of drugs to shut her up. The insults and the derogatory slurs were more of a personal attack instead of it being about her race. It really sucks that happened but I don't see any proof of systematic racism here. Can someone fill me in?